Before we start searching for literature, it's important that we first understand a few basic techniques. In this really quick tutorial, I'll show you how to use Boolean operators. Don't worry, it might sound like something complicated, but it's pretty simple really. You use these Boolean operators in everyday life without really thinking about it. When you order a coffee at your local coffee shop, you'll likely ask for your favourite coffee, but then you'll make choices about how it's served. You might ask for a coffee with milk but no sugar. In Boolean terms, this is coffee and milk, not sugar. Don't worry, it'll make sense soon enough. To demonstrate how you might use Boolean search terms when searching for evidence and literature, I'm going to use the following scenario. Let's imagine we have a patient in our care who has diabetes. Let's also imagine that that patient is an adult. So we'd like to find some general information about diabetes in relation to adults. There will, no doubt, be plenty of information out there about diabetes related to children too. But we want to focus our search specifically on diabetes related to adults. So, how might we use Boolean operators to find this information? The Boolean operators I'll demonstrate here are AND or NOT. So, to begin, let's search for diabetes. I want to show you visually what that search might look like. If we were to make a search just for the keyword diabetes, the search results would all contain a mention of the keyword diabetes somewhere within the text. You can set databases to search specifically for keywords within the title of an article or within the title and abstract of an article. And you can often choose settings to have the database search for your chosen keyword anywhere within the articles recorded in the database. Many databases also give you options to search for keywords, or rather names, that appear specifically within the authors of articles that are recorded within the database. And so you could search for articles written by a specific author. But for this example, we'll assume we're searching within the title and abstract. And this is often the default setting for most literature search databases. OK, so we've searched for diabetes. Next, we'll search for the keyword adult. We could, if we wanted to, combine the search we made for diabetes with the keyword adult using the Boolean operator OR. But let's have a look at what happens when we do that. We find masses of search results, perhaps many hundreds of thousands. This is because the Boolean operator OR expands a search. Look closely and you'll see that what we've done, in effect, is ask the database to find any literature on diabetes or adults. These results might, by chance, contain some literature about diabetes relating to adults. But there'd be a whole lot of other literature in there relating to adults and other conditions besides diabetes. We don't want that. We want our search to be more specific. So to make our search more specific, we'll use the Boolean operator AND. We'll do this by searching for diabetes and adult. Watch what happens to the number of search results. The number drops. When I searched for diabetes or adult, I got 774,659 results. But when I searched for diabetes and adult, it narrowed it down to 11,458 results. And so effectively, we've now asked the database to find any literature or any journal articles that contain both the keyword diabetes and adult. When you make a search like this and then open up one of the results found in the search, you'll see that the title or the abstract contain at least one mention of diabetes and at least one mention of the keyword adult. You might find only one of those words appear in the title of the article, but you'll find the other word 
mentioned somewhere within the abstract. And so by using AND we have made our search more specific. But look, our search for literature or articles related to diabetes and adults might still include some that refer to paediatrics to children. Here's where we can use the boolean operator NOT. So let's make a search then for diabetes and adults not paediatrics and well what happens? The number of results falls again because this time we've asked the database to find or retrieve any articles which contain the keyword diabetes and the keyword adults but exclude any articles which contain the keyword paediatrics. You do have to be cautious about using not because well by using it you might exclude a lot of literature or articles that may be relevant to your search or your study. For example in this search using not paediatrics we might have excluded an article which only briefly mentioned diabetes in childhood but which focused mainly on adults with diabetes. So the article may have been relevant to us but because there was a mention of paediatrics it would have excluded the article. So be careful when you use it. But it is useful if you find you keep getting a lot of irrelevant search results. Say for example diabetes in cats and dogs. If you were focusing just on human studies you could include not cats, not dogs not animals or maybe even not veterinary though we wouldn't want to use any of these if we were looking for literature about diabetes alert dogs these are the dogs that alert their owners when they're approaching a life-threatening seizure but used carefully all of these boolean operators can be used to refine your search If you like this tutorial then why not let us know either by clicking the like button that's the thumb down here or by dropping us an email and if you're feeling stuck with another topic maybe we could help with a similar video tutorial. Send your email to admin at diverse-learners.co.uk Thank you for watching.